adding and triggering particle routines with particle system and keywords. Particle system is a customizable full permission single root prim script that creates all the particles for exhaust, burnout, tire tracks and some other things. It knows which prims to trigger particles and based on words added to prim name fields. Since it is not yet in this bike, I'm injecting the particle system script into the root using script injection, it is under inject additional scripts from the injection menu. Double click to open it up and you will be able to see and edit the various particle routines for different functions. Eventually you may want to customize the particles, or import particle routine values from another script. These are just ordinary second life particle routine values. Here you can see where to use standard second life vector values for the color and size of the particles. And even the particle texture UUID, if you edit this script such as this one or the root settings, be sure to do it inside the vehicle or in in world object, as they will not compile properly if you edit them directly in inventory, you don't need to worry about customizing if you are just starting out. Now I will show you the keyword tool in the mechanic HUD. It allows you to quickly add or remove keywords from prim names. You can of course edit the prim names by hand. This tire prim has the solid keyword in the name. When I touch it, it shows in the menu. I can then click to add the burn keyword, which will trigger the burnout particles from that prim. As you can see when examining the tire prim, the burn keyword was added on. Clicking on burn again removes it. Here you could also add the fly keyword which will trigger the flight particles during flight mode. After adding or removing keywords, you will need to reboot so the scripts can rescan the link set and account for all keywords. I'm just going to add the burn keyword to the back tire. Ok, now I will add the exhaust. Particles and second life emit from the center of a prim. So when using a prim like exhaust pipes, the smoke would come out of the wrong location. Instead, you can make a small prim, link it in, and place it in the location where the particles should be coming from. If you were wondering what the inverse keyword is for, it tells a pivoting wheel script in a prim to turn in the opposite direction. That trunk keyword tells a door prim to use the trunk sound effect instead of the regular door sound. For exhaust smoke use the EXH keyword. Reboot the vehicle so it detects the keywords, then we can test it out. That was amazing! To hide the particle prim, select it using Edit Link Parts, then under the Textures tab set the transparency for the prim face to 100%. Start up the engine from the vehicle menu, and it all works as it should. To see the invisible prims on your vehicle, you can press Ctrl Alt T to show transparent prims. You will see the hidden prims highlighted here as red. There are other uses for transparent prims on a vehicle such as for setting up passenger seat prims. While we're here I will add a prim to trigger tire track particles using the track keyword. Tire tracks need their own prim also, as they don't work so well emitting from the center of a tire prim. I like to hide it down in the very bottom of the tire. Tire track particles are usually only triggered when skidding and drifting, 
but in the particle system script there is a variable called tracks always on that you can set to true so that the tire tracks emit at all times. Instructions are on the ACS wiki particle system page, and even example particle settings for the tire tracks to emulate Tron light cycle style particles. The particle routines don't just have to trigger exhaust smoke and tire tracks. You could probably think up some other imaginative uses for them. You can go on the SL Marketplace and find different particle scripts and particle script generators to help you make up custom particles. The particle system script can also generate particles for boat wake, as well as particles that emit only during flight mode using the fly keyword. You can, for example, Combine the flight mode prim repositioning using turn system and the flight mode particles to rotate your wheels downward and emit rocket particles for flight mode. Okay, let me reboot so the particle keywords scan. If you have added keywords and you don't see the particles when you are supposed to, Double check that you have rebooted the vehicle and that the particle system script is inside the root. Okay, we got all kinds of particles going now. Talk to you later.